Oh, All right, people. I just said I was gonna start recording. God. My bad. Sorry, I had to charge my phone in my DS. What do you want me to do? But when they do charging, I'll plug them. Oh, I'll, I'll just shit plugged in and charging. You use my laptop like crazy and charge the fuck out of that. I, I, you know what? You're being a hypocrite. But I'm paying a damn bill. You're being a hypocrite. I'm sorry. I mean, you're talking all that good shit, but you do the same exact fucking thing. No. 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 Okay. Mm. The phones are through charging. Mm -hmm. The game is through charging. How do you know? Because the lights is out. You don't know nothing. Uh -huh. you, know. That's what I you don't know nothing. They can be unplugged now. He got shit plugged up. It ain't nothing even charging. Lights on. I don't have any lights on. All right. Sorry. Welcome back. Daily Duels. Get an episode with Mom. Complaining and bitching about stupidness. All right, so tagging with Tiago. All right, hand destruction. Uh, that card's inherently a neg one, but I guess you want to pitch your double blue eyes. All right. And maybe Tiago pitch both his solar wind jammer. I always thought it was solar wind. Yeah, sol solar wind jammer. That's it. <laughs> He's like, thanks. Thanks for getting them solar wind jammers. Use the solar wind jammers out of my hand and allow me to draw. Like, <sighs> a card, the cards, you know? There's something wrong with the card. It breaks. It breaks the number one rule of Yu-Gi-Oh. Never let your opponent draw. And it's not like you discard. No, you, you send. So, you, no. Dark World can't even freaking utilize that strength of that card. You know, it's just kind of like, eh. Yeah. So, the tag went with that first turn, Felgren. Royal Decrees. And they quit. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Igneal Dragon Mill. Oh, what is this supposed to be from freaking fairy tale shit? Hello? <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and get another duel and bear back. Alright, let's try this again. So, uh, trains. You know, you, uh, hopefully. Wow. Wow. Look at this. Look at this. Hello? Number generator. Number generator. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Hello? So, kind of tweak the deck a little bit. Oh, wow. Number generator. <laughs> All right, all right, I see you. I see you in your number generator. I mean, I can't talk shit. Oh, wow. He's just like, no, 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 no. Like, you're the only one here that wants that defense. Everybody else here is like, man, fuck that shit. <laughs> Everybody else here is like, no, fuck that shit. I'm like, no, fuck that shit. Yeah, I go like, nah, fuck that shit. Damn, that fucking sucks. I get shit banished. He won't even be able to get his fucking equip on. Oh, he just gonna Michael it. Okay. He just gonna Michael get it, get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> hey, that works good. Thank you. <laughs> Cause I'm like new, and everybody's here is like no. Yeah. So for some reason, whenever I duel against this DDD deck. You know, they always get deep for your first turn. It's like, what the fuck? Like, I get that that card is very vital, you know, piece of your play, but it's just like, come on. Like, fuck that. <laughs> get that deep out of here. <laughs> All right, let's see what he's playing. Let's see if that deep fissure would really fuck him up bad. And let's see if Chago is his hero for taking that deep fissure. <laughs> Yeah, that's really selfish. This is like, well, I'm playing the project, and I gotta play defense. So fuck all of y'all. Wow. Am I ever gonna get to play some Yu-Gi-Oh in this video? Hello. <sighs> Bear back again. Oh my god. Like, come on. Will I ever get the duel? What, what is this? This is this is tagging with Tagger, right? I didn't know it was fucking the Tiago show. Like, come on. I want to fucking duel. <laughs> this hand is okay. No, I can go. Summon Pathfinder, Pathfinder, go ahead and give me my Filth Pack, give me my Filth Spell, and summon Malefic Cyber End, so, no terrible play. Like, seriously, like, I want to play some yu gi -Mon. You guys, some of you guys, I don't know, some of you guys thought this was the Tiago show, and not, and you get Tiago Tony 4-7, but seriously, you guys came here for some trains, and it's time for the choo-choo, and I can't even, <laughs> I can't even leave out of the station, because the opponents keep quitting. <laughs> Alright, no more train puns. <laughs> So, let's go ahead and see what Tiago does. Because seriously, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, they just keep quitting, you know? 
Like, literally, was that Michael? So difficult. Like, literally. I guess the guy's like, oh, if I don't got defense, I can't even fucking play. Like, it seems like, I think that's like the third time I dueled against that deck. And it seems like they always get defense their first turn. You know? I mean, I get it. It's a very vital piece of card in that whole DDD deck, you know? But, you know, I guess as soon as it was popped, I guess. I'm not sure if it's him that quit or his partner that quit, but, you know. Seems like as soon as that defender is gone, they quit. And it's just like, okay. <laughs> you know? Like, come on, man. I, I want to play some yu gi <laughs> Alright, there's Birdman. Yep. Hey, Alexi. Bring him back. I guess he's just gonna go ahead and sink into seven, I guess. Yep. Oh, Michael again. I go using that Michael. Wow, setting a Lila. Well, why would you set a Lila? Why not summon it in attack mode? It'd be a 17 beater, and then you get to mill during the end phase. You know, if you're gonna use Light Swords, then use them. You know, of course. Tragodia. Okay. You know, that, what was the point of that? You know, what was the point? Damn, look at that Tragodia. He's fucking 36. Like, holy shit. Go ahead and update. Update Tragodia. <laughs> That's a strong ass Tragodia. Are you gonna play anything? Or are you just gonna poke with the Tragodia? I mean, you could take the little slow. You got a fucking 36 Tragodia on the field right now. If you want to, you could take it chill, man. Yeah, that Lila could have been a lot more useful than what you gave it credit for. Why did you do that? You could have you could have attacked over Michael with the Trigodia. Now you can't even do that. I hope you got something else planned. Okay, okay. Well, all right. So it's a rank. F it's one. Of, it's that rank five spam deck. All right. So Volcasaurus. Then pop. Gaia Charger. Tack. Tack. I got you. I'm reading your plays like a damn book. You know. I had thought you had something cute with that. You know, but no. It's just a rank five deck. Okay. Like I've never seen that before. Well, I guess technically, I guess I'm kind of a rank 10 deck then, huh? <laughs> you know, here comes the damage. Here comes the pain. Yep, turn that into Gaia Charger, attack, attack. Or are you just gonna leave it as Walker's horse? You're slowly just making Tragodia weaker for no fucking reason. Okay. Like, literally, you could have set in main phase 2. Like, literally, you Tragodia could have been freaking... 1200 points hunger. That could have been 24 if you had just kept these cards in your hand until main phase 2. Like, that was dumb. No, well, that was just dumb. <sighs> oh, I gotta take out the Volcasaurus, but I don't trust the Tribodia. You know, I definitely would like my field spell this turn, though. No. I think I got the Royal Decree, so hopefully I'll have it for Tiago's play, but... I gotta get set up this turn. This isn't really the turn to be passing. go ahead and MST my switch yard then eh, more power to you. I still got my Royal Decree, so. Go ahead and pitch that. Yep, go ahead and get me my awesome Night Express Knight. Oh, I could go for like super chocolatey fudge covered next turn if I wanted to. Summon you. You got something? Alright. Go 
uh, and check out that Volcasaurus for me. Unless you got some battle traps. If you want to, go ahead. I guess the scariest threat right now would be him having a level 10, another level 10, so aka having another Trigodia, being able to pitch the Trigodia, and uh, take my Malefic Cyber in. I guess that'd be the scariest play right now. Hmm. I thought you were playing Light Swords. They're setting a lot of cards. Oh, Tour Guide. Well, that's fine. I can't stop that. So, Dante, I guess? Tour Guide, Summon, XE, and a Dante? Like I said, I don't know. Maybe Infernoids? I'm, I'm literally trying to No, 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 okay. It's pretty abandoned. I guess XE into Zen Reigns? Then mains crash into my Malefic Cyberian and pop my field spell? Hmm? Yeah? Maybe? No, Dante. Okay, I was right with the Dante. So you just get a mill. Okay. I must be missing something. Okay, so you're increasing Dante's attack. But yet he's in defense, and that was kind of a waste, but okay. You know, usually I can kind of read my opponent and know what they're what they're going to do, what they're planning, what they're playing. Right now, I have no fucking idea, because he's doing odd plays. I guess, I guess it only works to see. No, that's fine. And then they quit. God fucking damn it. Oh my god, so terrible. So terrible. So fucking terrible. Like, why the. Alright, one more duel, and that's it. We are back. Alright. Seriously, I didn't even get to do any train action. All I did was summon Malefic Cyber. I have not used a single choo choo this entire duel. Like, I want to get some choo choos. Dora the Explorer, y'all need to learn, alright? We're gonna go on an adventure. We're gonna go exploring with Dora, but no, I can't even get fucking Dora. <laughs> like, God damn it! Uh, uh, please don't quit. Like, what was that? I, I, seriously, I thought I could read my. Uh, and you know, I'm usually good, pr pretty good with reading the opponent's play, except when they just don't do the play correctly or they just do something weird. You know, like I that whole Trigodia play with the whole set. Like, why? Why? Why would you set? There was no reason you didn't have to set. You could set in main phase two. You could have gotten an additional 1200 damage with Trigodia. With the Volcasaurus pop, you could have turned that into a Gaijar. You got an additional 26. But I guess maybe you wanted to keep the Volcasaurus. I don't know. But, you know, okay, one of those cards you set was a breakthrough skill. What was the point? What would have been the difference between setting the breakthrough skill, main phase one, and main phase two, besides the additional 600 attack damage that you could have got instead of just, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to tell you how to play Yu Gi Oh! But, seriously. Mada Mada Dane. <laughs> Take the duel slow. Think, you know. He's using trains. <laughs> He's also using trains. You know. I think that's the only deck that I know that plays Pathfinder. Yep. No. Oh, Mound to the Bound. Okay. Something with Mound to the Bound. Mound to the Bound. Pound Town. Brown Gown. Gown Town. Creator. All right. Well, this isn't gonna be that fun then, <laughs> depending on what he's using. So that mounted bound has to be very useful to go ahead and use your normal summon for, you know, Pathfinder. Pathfinder is a pretty good card, it's just you gotta use your normal summon for it, so that's the problem. He's hitting a lot of background. Alright, go ahead and flip that road to Korea up. Like, how about no background? Hmm. Ah, uh, what can I do? Oh, I could take the duel slow, I could take the duel fast. Oh, I can get a first turn door right now. You know, it might be better just to go door. Put the pressure on him. Belgram plus Dora? Yeah, that seems chill to me. 
What's that? The crane as an XC material? No. We are gonna go exploring. Dora plus Felgran. That is a, that is a serious combination. And also Dora is a is three thousand two hundred. Like. Oh, okay. Change all face up. This is monster on a field to face down to death position. Don't even face flip all monsters. Face down right position. Face up. And your opponent draws a card for each. Uh I'll make Felgrand affected. No, yeah, because I'm down, I get my original stats back, so I'm chill with that. Uh, should I set the second Royal Decree? That's the question. Yeah, you know what? I'll set it. So, I get to go back up to my original stats, so thanks. And I get to draw two cards. I guess, I guess that Book of Eclipse prevented me from going to Dora, I guess. So. My bad. <laughs> my bad, I wasn't even thinking. Wasn't even thinking about that. I was, I was so contemplated on whether I wanted to block with Felgrand or not that when I came to the decision, it didn't even cross my mind. You know, I just said talking about taking the duel slow. I should have took the duel slow. Uh, my bad. Oh, light ones again. Okay. Bad light ones that play the field spell. Yeah, I'm getting some serious roughing cards. Like, I don't even got any fucking roughing cards to summon out of my deck anymore. Okay, so I guess I just want to mill with Minerva. Okay, that's cute. Oh, I seriously thought you had a plan with Honest. I was about to say, you're gonna summon and try to come after me with Honest? Like, nigga, I will fucking do it. I'll be like, Felgrand effect on you. You're unaffected by your Honest. And then you're like, Honest! And you're gonna die. You're like, oh, what the hell happened? Nope. Nope. Hey, thanks, thanks for your, uh, your book, though. Allowing me to go back up to my original stats. Now I've got a 3,028 beater. It's all your fault, you know, I, you know, like I said, the only thing you did was prevent me from going to door. Besides that, not only did you neg, you allowed my monsters to go back up to my original stat, and you allowed me to draw two, like, mm-mm, mm, -mm, mm, -mm. I hope it was worth it. Seriously, right now, it's all about that mother mother dummy. All day, every day, you have a lot more to work on. This video is freaking uh, the Tiago show combined with uh, the Scrub show. <laughs> Tiago's thinking, having an epiphany. Pip, uh, uh, epiphany? Pip. I don't know. He's having, he's having flashbacks over there. He's just date, thinking and debating. All right, he's just gonna say, you know what? Bogren, go ahead and use your effect and have her be unaffected. I guess he's he, he thinking that the honest, you know. That part was kind of risky. You know, you. S you know, uh, we have a Uh, You know, you summon Rhaenyra just to mill one. Yeah. We have Royal Decree. Alright, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Get unaffected. You know, so. You know. Uh, you know, it was a smart play. I was actually thinking to myself, I'm like, you know, it might be best to go ahead and just use Felgrin. Unless you're going to continue on with your play, because, you know, the whole detaching galaxy eyes thing. But, uh, you know, that might be a fine play, because, you know, that his play, I, I'm probably giving him more credit than he deserved. But I'm thinking that he summoned that to get the mill and then to bait out with the honest. That's what I'm thinking. Alright, maybe, maybe he's smart. And either A, there was no honest, and we were just being way too careful. Or B... Uh, he just didn't want to play the honest, and he's smart because they're, you know, he didn't want to play honest because the card would be unaffected by that honest. I don't know. Maybe I'm giving you more credit than you deserve. Well, your partner has the light swarm filled spell, but you already searched your mound to the bound, so yep.
I mean, I saw that coming from a mile away with the Regeki, so I guess that was it. You wanted to prevent me from going to Dora? No. Pulsar too, alright. Like I said, the number generator is strong. You know, for goodness sakes, I freaking number generized, so. So what's the revealing light? Alright. That was his other two face downs. Cards that won. You're set, the Regeki. That's such a risky play. Oh, now I'm number generizing. All right. No. Oh, right. Tag got just previous rolls. I'm like, wait, why did his field spell go? Because we're playing previous rolls. Okay. Okay. I mean, I guess I'm done with this turn. I mean, I can summon Malefic Cyber End, but what would, really, what would be the point? You know, Tiago couldn't attack. You know, I'm gonna save this for guard for a last ditch effort. Right now, we're chill. You know, you regeki to us, I can regeki you, or chill. Go ahead and activate you. No, go ahead and get me into Crane. Oh, I'm chill. I'm chill right now. As I say, like, you had your field spell, I had my field spell, but, yeah. I guess that's the problem right now, is that since we're using old rules, you know, and he does have his uh, Mound of the Balance, he could just simply play the Mound of the Balance and get rid of my Switch Yard. Forgot about the that Tiago plays with classic rules, you know? I was thinking the whole draw thing, but this is actually one of them, them times where the field spell actually is a problem. Uh. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, you drew wolf. How unfortunate. <laughs> Alright, pitch wolf, grab back, Minerva. Okay. Was there any other white swords in the graveyard? Oh, there was Lumina and Lila. Man, why didn't you grab those? Hello? Scrub City. Oh my god. No? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Bad today. <laughs> oh, I'm chill. Shit, next time I could go for super chocolate fudge covered if I wanted to. Yeah. Why not in the duel with super chocolate fudge covered depending on what Tiago does? Good. Seems like this guy is getting nice and comfy behind his swords and resilient light. He knows that he's gonna have one more turn after Tiago's. So, but I just go ahead and make a super chocolate fudge cover, get rid of it all, and then beat the shit out of you. <laughs> Tiago's going off with the plays right now. Oh, he got the gold sark too. Gold sark. So next turn that guy will get his insta fusion back. I guess he's gonna Exiton. Yeah, summon Noden, I guess. And Tiago's like, okay, I'll do the same thing. I'll go ahead and get this. Alright, so I guess he's gonna he's gonna try to Exiton, but the problem is Felgrand's on the field, so. Yeah, you know, Insta Fusion summon Noden, Noden summon something else, XD and Exiton, but and you'll get get negated by Felgrand. Yeah, if you do get off the Exiton, we're still in this duel. Are you up on resources? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, you're actually up on resources. And Noden's not helping either. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I let him get it. I let him overextend. I allow him to play and tell it play his little heart out. You can't act on, you're still up on resources. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, you're up on resources. Hello? Who the fuck is that? Wow, okay. Okay. Oh. 
Okay. Okay, so you're gonna set him and then flip him back up and... Uh, 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 my brain hurts. Oh, <laughs> my brain hurts from trying to think what the fuck our opponents are trying to do. Alright, I guess they're trying to flip this up and then summon like, um, you know, a blue eyes ultimate with mound to the bound. I, I guess that's it? Is that it? And then it won't be destroyed because of the Mounds of the Bound? Like, is that, is that your plan? Is that your fucking plan? That was the whole big shebang. Hmm. Alright, during need your player turn when a card effect attacks exactly one card in the field exactly there, you can send one card from your hand there by running under the block. Okay. Ah. Uh. Oh. I, mean, I got my another switch yard, so I still can go for a super clock. I guess I'll go for a super chocolatey fudge cupboard, wipe all your back row, then regeki you, and that'll be game. Yeah, that seems fine to me. Oops, I accidentally clicked set. I meant to activate that. That was totally a misclick. Yeah, get your mounted. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I mean, I'm still gonna go for this super chocolate fudge cover play. So we'll go ahead and normal summon. Yes. Yes. So, let's go ahead and go for the super chocolate fudge cover play. How's that sound? Yeah, I drew all my freaking uh, ruffian cards, so. Super chocolatey fudge covered will kick your ass so hard. Fuck your shit. I say it doesn't really matter. Get rid of all that. Regeki. Get rid of all that. <laughs> oh, I can't do damage this time. Right? Yeah, I can't do damage this turn. I forgot that I can't do damage this turn. It's chill. Nah, I can't do damage this turn. I mean, it's still GG. Like, I forgot because I used my yard's first effect. I mean, you get one more turn. How I use my field spell to use your shit. Why are you going in the battle phase? You're gonna come after me, fool? About to say, you better calm your ass down. Sit the fuck down. Alright, sit the fuck down. Shut the fuck up while you're talking to me. This duel is over. <laughs> Let's say, what you going to battle phase? You gonna honest me? Too bad you're unaffected. Like, yeah, there's two, there's two sides of that coin. Not only you're affecting it, but you're also unaffected by shit, so. That means you'll be unaffected by the honest that you have in your hand. That's cute how you have, you, you're like, oh, light reads daily, so, oh, your feel smell, your kind's like, oh, oh that's so cute, oh, uh, no. Well, I didn't even know they played the dailyus and light swords. Well, I guess I'll just sit back, relax, and watch Chago wrap this up. I cleaned out that whole entire field. I was like, Super Chucky Fudge covered, Regeki, fuck you up. 
Nigga, just fuck everything that you fucking stand for. Fuck, hello? <laughs> Oh, well, that's it. That is it. That is it. That is it. I hope you got some kind of battle fader or something. Because here comes the giant super chocolate fudge covered fist of destruction. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> All right. So there we go. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duel Talking with Tag Using and Trains. So, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you either in Luna's video, hopefully, uh, using Trains, or I'll see you guys tomorrow using Telenites. Alright, guys, thanks for watching.